Meteorologist Kevin Robinson and kind of summer plus Ashley around here with these temperatures <laughs> lately and I am loving it. No complaints out of me, but I know it's hot for some folks, Kevin. No, not for <laughs> July. We're talking <laughs> any day you don't make it to 90 in July and you throw in the added bonus of at least comfortably low humidity mm -hmm. levels. You are winning this yes. time of the year. Normal's 84. You got two days <laughs> over. What are you talking about here? By a couple of degrees. Come on. <laughs> now. Mike is going to fight you on this one. Yeah, I, I, you can't <laughs> complain to me about this weather in mid July. It could be a a lot worse. Think back a week or two ago when we had those heat indices around 100 with the incredibly oppressive levels of humidity. We don't have that in the forecast here. We do have a warm up over the weekend. Notice Saturday we jump up closer to 90. We get up to about 88 and we'll have muggier conditions by then. So yes, it will feel more uncomfortable over the weekend because we're going to see the humidity shoot its way up. But all of these numbers are pretty respectful for, you know, mid July. We expect for it to be on the warmer side, but here's the key. The humidity levels are staying low through Friday. Once we get into the weekend, it starts to steam back up on us, especially by the time we get into Sunday. So over the next couple of days, it's comfortably warm around here. Sunny days, comfortably pleasant nights. Here's a look at radar around the area. All this quiet close to home at the moment. North of I-70, there are some showers and thunderstorms. These are associated with a cold front. However, because our air is pretty dry down along the Ohio River Valley, as this front continues to drop our way, these showers and storms will fizzle out as we get closer to sunset. So I expect for it to stay dry around here. But what will happen is this front will switch our winds around back to the north or reinforce them out of the north and basically help to bring in even drier, less humid air for Thursday and Friday. So that means no real impact from wet weather in the next couple of days. At the earliest, I think we see rain chances move back in here by the time we get into Saturday, but especially on Sunday. So here we are outside right now, and you can tell our atmosphere is very stable out there. Notice one, there's hardly any clouds to be found. And then two, they don't really see, have much growth to them. They're not bubbling up. They're all pretty flat. You see them underneath the banner there. So it's 85 here in Cincinnati right now. And yes, dew points are in the low 60s. But again, that is still very comfortable for this time of the year. Temperatures are generally between 85 and 90. That's about where we should be. 87 Wilmington, 85 Springboro Mason. Batavia at 86, you're at 83 in Brookville in Southeast Indiana. So future cast shows you that things stay quiet. We may get us some passing clouds as those downpours north of I-70 fall apart. So maybe some passing clouds later on this evening, but all in all, it's a quiet night. We transition into a beautiful Thursday around here. Tomorrow should be a lot like today, probably even a little less humid than we are today. And that takes us right on into Friday, which looks equally as nice. So very comfortable tonight. We'll get down to about 64 for a low tomorrow. Partly cloudy, perfect 84 for your afternoon high. Here's a look at your day planner. Should be a nice one from start to finish. So your seven day forecast shaking out like this again. Great through Friday. Rain chances begin to creep up over the weekend along with the humidity levels. I'm keeping an eye on Saturday right now. I think we have minimal impact from wet weather on Saturday, so your weekend is far from a washout and Sunday would be the wetter of those two days. So we'll keep an eye on Saturday. I think there could be a rain chance that tries to sneak in here, but really Sunday is the day wet weather impacts us the most, and that will likely continue over into Monday. All right, Kevin, thanks so much. We'll start.